as easy as right. this one. This one, they help you know where you're going and they treat you right. They, it's been just wonderful. But I love this community mm -hmm. and, uh, and the surrounding area. I came to stay with a friend of mine who's been coming to the Mayberry Days for 15 years and he built a little farm out here with his family mm -hmm. and he's been asking me to come see his house and I didn't know, I live in Las Vegas, so I didn't know how I was ever going to get to see uh -huh. Jeff Gossett is his name, his house. But since we were doing a, an event in close to Indianapolis, I could come and spend the night with him at his farm, meet all his nine horses, uh -huh. and his kit, cat just had kittens. <laughs> so it was a real special farm day. I had that yesterday, and, and then he brought me down to the Mayberry Cafe last night. So I just had a wonderful day, just drinking in your lovely com countryside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great. Indiana in the spring. Yeah, you can have sleet as we did earlier today. <laughs> yeah, just don't or know. you could be getting a sunburn today. You never know what the, what the month yeah, of May. I didn't see the sleet, but I did read on yeah. Facebook that there are some places around yeah. here that got some sleet. Well, it was have. cold for a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the weather's like been it's so crazy around here. But, but it is pretty. I mean, oh, you're here when the flowers beautiful. are here. Oh, the Durian yes. Festival was last week, so I bet Danville's probably got a lot of red oh, this week. So Danville is such a pretty little town. Yeah, it is. And they do so much with their downtown. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a nice place. Very nicely community oriented. Can you tell me a little bit about when you were on the show? How old were you? Back oh, then? I was, you, uh, you I was in show? my early teens. Early teens? Uh, not early teens, late teens. Well. <laughs> and uh, you can do the math. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was my first experience at uh, doing television. So I was very excited and nervous about doing it. But Andy made it very easy for me. Andy and I shared a uh, manager, Dick Richard O'Link, who is one of the executive producers of the show. Uh, I met him in Colorado. I was uh, singing in Colorado. He came for a convention. He said, if you ever get to New York, look me up. So I did. And he happened to be Andy Griffith's manager. So that's how I made that connection. Oh, wow. So when the part came up on the show, I got a chance to audition for it. And that's how I got got that uh, part, which was really a wonderful uh, thing that happened in my life. One of those golden moments, because it's had repercussions. I've been it's been giving gifts to me all these years. People ask me if I still get residuals. Well, I don't get monetary residuals, mm -hmm. but I get people residuals. I've met so many wonderful fans of the show. thing I think uh, Otis was saying about them, the fans of the show, they're, they're, it's such a pleasure to meet the fans because they're similar to the people in Mayberry. It's like you're meeting your own family. They're, they're not nuts, they're not crazies out there, you know, mm -hmm. it's just like you're meeting your, your own relatives and it's been a real joy all these years to meet so many wonderful people. Yeah, and you were you you were active in the like the golden age of television. Like we can't we don't have shows like that anymore. No, you that don't. are as wholesome and as you know. Um, That's very family true. oriented and community. You know, it takes a village to raise Opie. That's right. So um, exactly. That's really neat that that you got to have that experience. What a what a blessing that was because mm -hmm. the shows now I just um, I my. My jaw drops at some of the lines they say, or they'll have little children <laughs> saying, you know. Right. It's, uh, I guess I'm an old fogey, but uh, it's, it's refreshing to see the show. Every time I see it, I'm always amazed at how really good it is. <laughs> I was watching it in the Mayberry Cafe last mm -hmm. night, and I was watching the episodes, and I thought, my gosh, this really is a good show, you know. <laughs> yeah. You forget. No, but it's a, I'm, and it's, reassuring to see so many young people that are now discovering the show. We don't just have older people in the audience, we have young people and college age people and it's uh, across the generations. So that's really heartwarming.
there's hope. <laughs> yeah. And is it one of the gentlemen that played one of your brothers? Yeah. Two? Uh huh. D Rodney Dillard. Uh huh. And his band is going to be here on Saturday. So it's kind of a little family reunion for you. Yeah, he's my brother, brother Rodney. He's terrific too. He has a great band, and we'll be playing for the show on Saturday. Yeah, Maggie, Maggie sings. I'll do some of the songs we did on the Andy Griffith oh, show. That's great. Yeah. Salty Dog and There Is a Time. We always do those. People, There Is a Time is a really beautiful song that was written by the Dillards. And uh, when we finished singing that on the Andy Griffith show, Andy put down his guitar and he said, I think that's the prettiest song I ever heard. Oh, really? That's me. So that was a beautiful line. Yeah, uh, that's one of my favorites. When he picks up his guitar mm -hmm. and starts playing on the mm -hmm. shows, those are oh, he always loved some it. of my favorite things. Oh, so. he, loved, he loved having the, Darling, the Dillards on because he, between sets he would bring out his guitar and play with them. He just loved that. He loved having those boys on there. They're wonderful musicians. Andy was a, is a good musician, was a good mm -hmm. musician too. Very, very yeah. musical. Mm -hmm. Very soulful voice and stuff, yeah. Yes, I yeah. love his voice. Yeah. I love the way he sang. But he started on trombone and then uh, he taught music. I mean, he was a very musical, musical gentleman. Very interested in music. Awesome. Well, what do you think you're looking forward to most about this weekend? Oh, gosh, meeting the people and the parade and the uh, OP contest. And what else we've got going? The <coughs> nationals? The, the nationals, squad mm -hmm. car nationals. Squad cars are great. Yeah, yeah Soapbox Derby. Soapbox yeah. Derby. It's yeah, I saw the, the Mayberry's car up in up in the store, and it's beautiful. Is, aren't they beautiful? They yeah. do a wonderful job yeah. restoring these cars. They're just amazing. And it, that really, I mean, it really gets your heart when you see one of those old squad cars, you know, because <laughs> right. that's oh, yeah. really the Andy Griffith show. Yeah, when I very first started here, I worked here almost 15 years. Oh, really? Um, they were having a to-do over the squad car in Danville because the people next door didn't want it sitting there all the time. Yeah. But you know what? That, that got them all. It, after time, they would go out and move it around, and yeah, you know, have, it, it, it finally around. quit and stuff. So they do have to still go out and move it. Oh, they um, do? Yeah. That's but, interesting. But it's it turned into great publicity for them. Oh, my gosh. And you know what yes. I mean? It's oh, just yes. like, every because everybody's like, you know, because it's such a cool car. And, it is. Yeah. It looks wonderful. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. yeah. I'm just very yeah. impressed with that. Yeah. They're great people. They're so. lovely people. Very community-minded and very nice. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for letting 